Hola, buenos dias. Welcome, everybody. In this video, we're going to look at Study Stack, which could be used as an alternative to Quizlet. I can see that it's being popular because I know a lot of districts won't allow Quizlet due to privacy concerns. So I'm not sure if Study Stack is better in that sense, but maybe this could work for you. So uh, what I would do first is head on over to studystack.com, create a free account. And once you log in, it'll take you to this landing page right here. So what you can do is you can definitely search for uh, flashcards that have already been made, but maybe you know you want to make your own and you can't find what you're looking for. So I'm going to click on dashboard and then I'm going to create a new stack. And so I've only made three so far. I'm going to go ahead and make one that I want to use anyway in the future just so I'm not wasting my time. So I'm going to click create stack and then I'm going to come back over to Quizlet and I'm going to import a Quizlet set that I've already created and bring it on over. So this is the one I want to make a study stack of. So what you got to do is open it up We'll scroll down here to the three little dots. I'm going to export it. You got to make one change though, so don't do it yet. Right here in this custom box, you're going to want to put a pound sign or a hashtag. And then I'm going to do copy text. Okay, let's head back over to study sec. And this is, and I'm going to put term definition. Um, I usually, actually I've always deselected this option, allowing others to edit my set. I don't want people to be able to edit my work. I think you can copy other sets, but I'm not going to do that. And then category, there's a ton of categories in here, including Spanish. So there's Spanish. Save changes. It tells you when you're done saved right here. Okay, now I'm going to go over to data, and this is where you're going to import your vocabulary. Over here on the right, where it says import text, I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to paste that text I copied earlier right here. And I'm going to click import. And then you can see all of the words have been imported right here. And at the bottom of this list, I'm gonna click Save Changes. Make sure you do this, otherwise you'll have to do it again because it won't save it. Okay, I believe it's done. Yep, it says up here at the top, changes have been sta saved. Click here to start studying them. So if you wanna get this to your students, I'd click that. And then this right here, this link, you'll get that to them. And then they can study the flashcards. A uh, downside to study stack that I found, one is there are advertisements that come on the website. Uh, second one is that the audio, like when they speak the words, the pronunciation is really bad. Like it's a pretty standard like computer voice. Uh, whereas Quizlet actually does a fair job of pronouncing uh, the words in Spanish when I do that. But um, you know, you can flip them over and uh, one cool thing, oh, here you can see all these advertisements that just popped up. But anyway, like let's say I already know uh, that abuelo is grandfather, I can put it in my no category. If I don't know it, I can put it in my red category. Okay, there's the next word. Apelo, let's say I know it means hair, so I can put it in my no box. And you know, keep going through all like that. And then when you're done, you can probably start over and start studying again. Something else you can do, which is kind of cool with Study Stack, is there are a bunch of different games that you can play. And these are all included with the free account. Uh, so try them out, see which one you like, and uh, give it a shot. But one other thing too is there is an app on the iPhone. I've tried it out. It's okay. Uh, I think this is a little bit better on the computer, but it does work and you can try that out as well. Uh, I think that's it. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.